Welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to bring you guys my review of Magnetic Elixir by Shakira. This perfume launched this year, 2016, and is the fifth edition in the Elixir lineup. This one is probably, I'm, not, I'm just going to tell you guys straight off the bat, not my favorite Shakira fragrance and not even my favorite in the Elixir line. I definitely, if I had to like layer out the Elixirs, this would probably be on the lower end and I'll get to that more when I go in there but the box looks like this I am in love with this box I love the bright colors of it um I love the mandalas that are on it I love how it's got this eye I just think the whole box is gorgeous and the whole concept for this one was just beautiful the top looks like this the only thing I have an issue with is like it's not centered in the box um, it is a little bit closer to the bottom than it is the top. That just throws me off OCD-wise, but other than that, the box is gorgeous. The bottle looks like this this time, and it's kind of a pale coral pink color. Um, and it says Magnetic Elixir straight across here, and it says by Shakira on the back. Um, and of course you have the Shakira S on top of the bottle. So, the notes for this fragrance are... The top notes are green notes, lemon, um, red currant, and pear. Base note, middle notes are peony, freesia, jasmine, sandback with base notes of exotic wood, um, amber, and sheer musk. So, my only issue with this fragrance are the green notes in the top. Um, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of an issue with it as I throw my tester. But when you first spray it, I definitely get those green notes. It does come out very green as you first spray it. Um, the lemon definitely comes out a little bit and adds a little bit of a clean citrus note to this fragrance. Um, but I definitely think when you first spray it, the green notes and the pear kind of are like the two most notes out there. You definitely get the crispness of the pear with the green notes kind of backing it. As it starts to dry down, I'm definitely getting the peony and the freesia. Those definitely are the kind of the standout florals of this fragrance. Um, I get a little bit of the jasmine. Not to the point where it's completely unnoticeable, but I definitely can smell it. It just it the more standout florals are those peony and the floor and the uh, freesia. As you start to dry down, I get a little bit of the amber. Amber adds almost a warmth to the fragrance. Um, fragrance isn't warm at all. I don't want to make it sound like that. It's very green and aquatic almost with that lemon and the floral. Um, but as it starts to dry down. You get a little of the wood, you get a little of the amber, and the musk is definitely a sheer musk. The full, the base of this isn't super stand out, um, and it isn't super pronounced. I definitely think that the the top and the heart are kind of the the setters of this fragrance. Um, if I had to overall describe it, I would definitely say it's green, citrus, and aquatic, um, with a little bit of a floral back. Um, I know that's kind of a four part, but um, I definitely see the magnetic part of this, and I can see kind of the vibe that was going with this. Um, my only issue is it is very green, and that's the only thing I don't like about this fragrance is the green. I feel like if we were to take the green out of this, I would like it a whole lot more. Lasting power, I get about five to six hours of lasting power on it. Um, for a fragrance that has green notes in it, I'm very surprised on how long it lasts on my skin, because green notes generally don't last very long on me. Um, so definitely a good, good fragrance if you can pick it up, um, and you like the green notes, if you can pick it up on, you know, eBay or whatever may have it, definitely pick it up if you want to blind buy it, and you like those green notes, definitely do, because I definitely think this is a beautiful green fragrance. Um, I'm just not a huge green fragrance fan. Um, definitely think it is a springtime fragrance. It kind of projects itself very far out, um. But not like super far out. I definitely think about half an arm length to a full arm length away from you. Um, and it kind of almost... And I get... This is kind of where I get the magnetic part. It almost creates like a magnetic pull to you. Um, it is very sensual, very pulling when you wear it. Um, definitely something the closer you get, the more the fragrance reveals itself. So, 
there you guys go. There's my review of Magnetic Elixir by Shakira. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.